Michael, four games unbeaten now, and made a very telling comment post-match Tuesday about it being between the ears. How much has that sort of been something you've been trying to get over to the players for some time? I think a lot of football is between the ears. Um, I think you can go a long way with the right mentality. Um, we've obviously changed the shape, which is, I think has helped the players. Um, but they, 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 they're the ones that go over, go across the white line and, and they deliver, and they've delivered some good performances. Saturday we weren't very good on Saturday, but I think people got obsessed with the performances. Like I keep saying we're in a results business, and I'll take playing badly and getting a result rather than playing well and getting beat. So it's, it's getting the balance between the two. And now, obviously, the task to take it back into the league because the Cups helped you build that, that unbeaten run. Yeah, it's an important game. Um, as are all of them, we need to pick up points in the league. Um, it's quite obvious. So we'll be looking to go and deliver a performance and hopefully getting the result with that. Teams at the moment seem to be making a habit just before they play Charlton of changing their managers. Um, that can't make it easy for you. Oh, I don't think we've had it easy, particularly anyway. I think the run that we had when I first came in, I think things that have sort of, you know, even, even the draw in the FA Cup hasn't been great. So, but you can moan and moan and moan. It is what it is. They, they've sat the manager. They had a good result last night. So it's up to us to go up there and get an idea. We think we know how they'll play. Obviously, they could change. Um, luckily, they played Doncaster. So I'll be on the phone to Grant McCann later on to see, to find out a few things. I went to watch them last week. So we can only prepare as we always prepare. But it's, it's up to us, really. We know that we need to turn up. There's no good looking at other people. I hope they get beat or I hope they don't turn up. It's, we, if we don't turn up, we won't get anything. And obviously, with the situation there, and there could be a bit of extra interest, but also a bit of extra pressure on them. So in some ways, I suppose, from their point of view, actually a lot of pressure on them, which could be something you could capitalise on. Like I said, not focus on them at all. Um, we will have an idea of, I say, prepare, as we always do. But we're, I'll be looking at our, my players. Um, and what can they what can they deliver? Can they can they play as we want them to play? Can they show the energy that they did the other day? Can they show the quality that they did the other day? And, and then can they go and win the game? A few weeks ago, you were saying, "Well, we're getting things sorted at the back. It's now about coolness and possession." Do you feel that actually, you know, they're beginning to play a bit better and being a bit more confident going forwards as well now? Um, we well, can look at it one or two ways. We had two games this week, and we were good with the ball one game, and not very good the other game. So we're not getting carried away because it was, it was. I think the formation helps. You find better angles and switches of play, and it allows you to keep the two up the pitch. There's obviously there's things that counter that as well, and that we need to deal with. But with that formation, you do have to pass the ball. So you can't. You need to find two or three passes to allow you to expand the pitch. Otherwise, as you did against Saturday against Ebbsfleet, we never found two or three passes, so the game went from back to front too quickly. Um, there are things that we're working. I, it's still a, it's still a, an ongoing process because I don't think it is the sort of formation that you can just throw on and go and play that. It needs a lot of work, and it's. Um, but I think Tuesday particularly there was signs of a few things that we've been working on. I mean, in your experience, how long do these things sort of generally take to, to bed down and for everyone to be comfortable with them? Because when you first made that switch to 3 5 two, it might have been bluffing, but you said, well, we might not be ready to go into it in a league game, but you've stuck with it since. Well, it, it worked, so that's why that's why we stuck with it. Um, I, I don't think it matters what formation, I think you always need to be working on it. You always need to be trying to get better at it. Um, and you hear stories of different people, different managers working on different things and you know, I know for a fact that England they still work on on the on the patterns, and Man City always work on their patterns, and they're the best in the, in Europe probably at the minute. So, the best players, the right things, the right thing all the time. So if it's working in the first three weeks, you've got to keep getting better and better and better, and that's what you're striving to do. And does that just also reinforce it? It's it's about actually you know the top couple of inches in terms of actually always being switched on, and if you keep practicing it, then you're more likely to stay switched on. I think the top players are the top players because yes, they're good players, but you know they're good athletes and they're good technically and tactically. But it, it is up here; it's a mindset of wanting to get better every day. You look at—I I use Man City because they're the obvious example—but they're good players. But you look how demanding the manager is every single day. You know, you watch the documentary; he's after him every day, and because he won't let him sit in the laurels. Um, that's why Man United years ago under Ferguson. They won the league, and he made sure they won the league again, and he made sure they won the league again. Now that is hard to do, because 
people with a little bit of success sometimes drop off. Best players don't. Turn up every day, try and get better. That's what we're... I'm, I'm trying to do that. I'm asking my players to try and do that. I'm asking my staff to try and do that. And, um, so it is, it's an ongoing process. Luke Varney wasn't risked on Tuesday. Is he ready to come back in now? Yeah, we think so. Um, like I said, he had, he had to have a little injection. Uh, he had that Monday morning. So he'll, he'll train today, so it should be fine. And everyone else you, you've had recently available, everyone else are OK? Yeah, we got, um, like I said, there was, took a couple off Saturday as uh, precautions, so we just have to wait and see how they are, really. Again, it's always a Thursday morning, so it's, uh, I'm not quite sure whether they'll, they'll train today or not.